Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Today we're looking at number 90, this time we're looking at number 90, number 93 Cal Kestis. Sorry, I just had to look at the box. Uh, the main protagonist from the upcoming game, Jedi Fallen Order, and his little droid BD-1. Um, um, again, this is another figure that I'm really blown away with. He looks fantastic. Um, another awesome looking character added to the Star Wars mythology. Um, really looking forward to learning more about Cal and uh, how he escaped Order 66. Um, we're bound to, bound to learn a lot more very, very soon. Um, the game is only out in just over a month from the time of recording this. So very, very excited, and I'm just going to give you a bit of a 360. As you can see, BD-1 standing there. We'll get a closer look of him shortly. Lots of great detail and bits and pieces on his back, um, on his belt. There we go. So accessory-wise, we're going to call BD-1 an accessory. We're going to get a look at this little droid, if I can hold him for long enough. <laughs> Here we have him. It was a very, very cute little little droid. It looks cool. A couple of little antennas. He is articulated. It's a little ball and socket head. He almost looks like he could have been a pair of binoculars. Um, does have a couple of ball and socket joints there to help move those legs. And you can move those legs all the way around. As we do see in the game, that he does sit up on Cal's shoulder. Unfortunately, there's no real easy way to do that with the figure. Um, so I've just sort of, for a couple of shots on my Instagram, I've just blue tacked him to his back. He's a cool little droid, looking to, looking forward to learning a little bit more about him. Now let's get a close look at Cal. Firstly, we'll have a look at his lightsaber. I feel like this could be a little bit more detailed. Um, it's a nice long hilt. It was originally, apparently, part of a double blade. Which as you can see there, it is broken in half. It is half the broken blade of his master, I believe. Um, the blade is removable. I actually haven't removed it yet. Um, I've had no need to. And again, it's another figure where we don't have anywhere to store the lightsaber. There's no peg. Um, there's nowhere to connect the lightsaber to the figure. So we can't sort of just display him with it on his back or anything like that. So a little bit of a bummer, but it's a cool looking hilt. It's uh, something different. We haven't seen anything like this before. Um, and I'm looking forward to just touching up those ends with some a little bit of silver, a little bit of brass um, sharpie, just to give it a little bit more, a little bit more. <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying. All right, let's have a look at the figure. We'll get a close up of his face. Now, as you probably know, he is portrayed by actor Cameron Monaghan, who was the Joker in, in the series Gotham. At least up to when I was watching it, I didn't, I didn't finish the series. But it's a pretty great look, pretty good likeness. And the sculpting of the hair is nice, really nicely done. Not the way it sort of licks over the front there. We've got to look at his chest down here, all these bits and pieces, belts, straps. Cylinders there on his shoulders, some little pouches. I like the look of the the jacket being sort of, you know, one half of the sleeve is, is either missing or he's rolled it up. It's hard to tell. On the other hand, he's wearing a glove. Looks a bit dirty. He's got the communicator on it. Uh, tall pouch. It's the tools and gadgets and stuff that he needs. Down to his pants. 
There's a wristband there down to his trousers, which are a little bit dirty. They're grubby and weathered well. It's a greeblies on there, knee pads, and some boots. Nice silver buckles and straps on, on them. Yeah, he's a good figure. I'm really happy with this one. Um, I was pretty happy with the shot I posted on Instagram uh, last week where I had him sort of holding his lightsaber up. We saw in the trailer him walking through a cave and using his lightsaber as a bit of a like a flashlight, like a torch, shining the blue light up on the up on the cave wall. So I tried to sort of mimic that a little bit. I was uh, I was pretty happy with it. But uh, yeah, very much looking forward to Jedi Fallen Order. It looks like it's going to be a really fun game. Um, hopefully, it's got a hopefully it's got a, a really cool story. And uh, yeah, looking to looking to learn a lot more about Cal Kestis. In terms of articulation, this figure has a ball jointed neck, uh, ball jointed head. I think he's got that lot sort of lower neck joint that some of the new figures do have. Uh, he has ball hinge shoulders. He has the butterfly joints hidden on, hidden in there quite nicely. Ball hinge shoulders, uh, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, torso joint, ball hinged hips, swivels at the thighs, double joints at the knees, and ball hinge at the ankles. So those butterfly joints are really working wonders for Hasbro. Uh, that was a great addition to the six inch line. Um, in terms of articulation and posability, it just adds another dimension to, to these figures. And the uh, quality has gone way up. So thank you, Hasbro. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, I'll be back with another video very, very shortly. Till then, may the force be with you. Always.